In this episode of Full Droop TV, we install a long travel suspension kit on our Project Chevy Silverado. Then we make room for larger wheels and tires. Full Droop TV starts now. This episode of Full Droop TV is brought to you in part by Swayaway. When we were looking for a long travel kit for our Chevy Silverado, we came across a company called LSK Suspension. Now they just finished up their 2007 and newer Chevy Silverado two-wheel drive kit and we decided to give them a call and they sent us one of their kits. We've got fully boxed lower control arms, we've got new upper control arms that take advantage of these 7 8 inch heim joints for pivoting inside the factory location. LSK Suspension also sent us a set of their fully fabricated spindles. What's nice about these is your factory hub and brake assembly will mount directly to these spindles. When installing a long travel kit, it's also equally as important to upgrade your tie rods. Now these provided by LSK Suspension use inch and a half DOM 120 wall tubing and heims at either end. Now the factory one uses a ball joint with this thin steel. Now with the Heims, you're going to get a lot more articulation. When your long travel suspension kit droops out, you're not going to be able to get enough articulation out of this ball joint like you will with the Heim. You can see this entire kit from LSK Suspension is a lot stronger than what you get from the factory on your Silverado. And best of all, this entire kit is bolt-on using the factory mounting points, so there's no custom fabrication needed to put this kit on your truck. Look at the difference between these LSK upper control arms and the factory ones. LSK uses 7 8 inch himes to mount to the frame instead of these rubber bushings that can deflect under off-road abuse. Ball joints versus uniballs. This is cast iron where LSK's is fabricated from steel. And here's how we remove the factory suspension. We've got our Silverado up on jack stands. We're going to tear down the front suspension to make room for the LSK Long Travel Kit. Unbolt the brake caliper. Safety wire it to the frame to hold it out of the way. Remove the tie rod. Disconnect the ball joint on the upper A-arm. Unbolt the hub assembly from the spindle. Disconnect the ball joint from the lower control arm and then remove the spindle. Unbolt the sway bar link. Remove the coilover, starting with the lower control arm bolts. Remove the three bolts holding in the coilover. Remove the upper control arm bolts. Remove the lower control arm bolts. Cut off the end of the factory rubber boot on the steering rack.
and remove the tie rod. You saw us tear down the front suspension on the Silverado. Now comes the fun part. We're going to be installing LSK's long travel kit. While the old suspension was off, I took the time to clean the frame and prep it for welding. We're going to be fabricating new shock mounts. First thing we need to do, put in the lower arms, followed by the upper arms, and then the spindles. To make room for the lower arm to slide into this pocket, we're using a piece of 5 8 inch all thread with two nuts, and we're going to spread this pocket to make room for that lower bushing. LSK provides these alignment plates. They go on either side of the bolt, they use the factory bolt, and they have this hole here that lines up with this pin to keep the upper arm in correct geometry. Like we told you guys earlier, the factory hub mounts right up to the LSK spindle. So to do that, place it, and you got three bolts. Make sure you put a little bit of thread lock on each one. You don't want those to back out. LSK provides you with an adapter that adapts the factory rack and pinion to Heim steering. This piece threads into the rack itself, followed by this, and this bolt holds it all together. With the lower spindle bolt in place, lean the spindle up, 
drop down the upper arm and slide in the bolt. Ellis case kit was originally designed to use an 8 inch travel shock that mounts in the factory coil bucket. We decided to cut ours off so we could use a 10 inch shock from Swayaway. Check these out. This is Swayaway's 2.5 inch by 10 inch travel shock. It features a 7 8 inch nitro steel shaft, a remote reservoir for increased oil capacity, nickel cadmium finish, and all aluminum parts are red anodized. These are the coilovers you get from Chevy. These are the coilovers you get from Swayaway. Let's get these on the truck. In order to fit our 10-inch Swayaway coilovers, we're going to build custom shock mounts. That'll serve two purposes. One, to mount the upper portion of the shock, and two, to provide us a place to mount our reservoir. This is how we're going to build them. We started out by making paper templates for our shock mounts. We're going to lay those out on the steel and using our Everlast plasma cutter, we should have these things cut out in no time. Make sure you always use proper eye protection whenever you're doing any kind of welding or plasma cutting. Now that we've got our shock mounts tacked up, we've taken them out of the truck, we're going to box the front side and the back side outside the truck. That way it's easier to get in here to weld. Then we'll take them back, put them back on the truck and weld them into the frame.
we're going to be bracing this shock mount with this tube here. It's going to run from the shock mount down to the factory frame, just like so. In order to find the fitment for that tube, we're using a pipe master. The way the pipe master works is you slide it onto the tube, align your tube in the position you want it, slide the alignment pins into position. Once you find your angle, slide the pipe master back down onto the tube, mark it out with a pen, cut that off, and you're good to go. Whenever you're installing a long travel kit on your truck, you're increasing the track width, so you're going to need longer brake lines. LSK provides you with longer brake lines with their kit. We also needed longer brake lines for the rear of our truck, so we contacted Crown Performance for their 12 plus Chevy Silverado kit. What that means is they're actually taking the stock brake lines, building new ones that are 12 inches longer than the stock length. These kits are made with top quality braided hose and you can choose the coloring. So we went with a smoke finish for ours. Just keep in mind, whenever you're installing new brake lines, you have to bleed the entire brake system once you're done. With our long travel kit installed, we still need to increase the size of the wheel openings on the fenders. We use tape as a guide, then mark all of our cut lines. An air saw is the tool of choice for cutting fiberglass. Just make sure to take proper safety precautions and wear a respirator. Fiberglass dust is a serious safety hazard. Now that our Fiberworks fenders are clearanced, we have plenty of room for our 37 inch Mickey Thompson tires. Welcome to FDTV Talk. Our question comes from Jake and he asks, Hey guys, I wonder if you could tell me why running a bed cage in my pre-runner is be beneficial to me. When you're looking to get more travel out of your rear suspension, one of your limiting factors is going to be the length of your rear shocks. In order to fit larger shocks, you're going to have to build a bed cage, like you see here. Your bed cage design is really only limited by your creativity. You can see from our design that we still have plenty of bed space, we even have space for our full-size spare to mount. Doing a bed cage, though, is a big commitment because you're going to have to cut holes through the bed in order to allow the longer shocks to pass through. And in upcoming episodes, we're going to be doing two unique bed cages, one for our Silverado project and one for our F-150 project, so it'll give you guys some ideas on your next build. And remember, 
If you want a question answered on air, visit FullDroopTV.com and click on the FDTV Talk icon. And that does it for another episode of Full Droop TV. We got our LSK Long Travel Kit installed, along with our coilovers from Sway Away. We also built our custom shock mounts. And in our next episode, we're going to be fabricating a bed cage to house our bypass shocks. Along with that, we're going to be installing a set of Deaver Long Travel Leaf Springs. So until next time, we'll see you in the dirt. Looking for our long travel kit for our Silverado project. <laughs> long travel kit. In order to fit our custom, no, not custom. <laughs> We're starting out by making paper templates for our 